welcome to Sea Bass Outdoors. Uh, today, as promised, I, I'm bringing to you guys uh, the uh, fish finder tutorial: how to uh, mark fish properly, how to tell what kind of fish they are, or how to tell what kind of bottom you're fishing, whether it's mud, gravel, sand, uh, all that using your, uh, your regular fish finder, whether, whether it's hummingbird or uh, Lawrence. I personally, we're going to be using a hummingbird. Uh, 997C edition um, and uh, from there I'll go uh, with the settings you should be playing with your fish finders to uh, mark some fish. So today what we want to focus on is the 2D sonar whether you have a hummingbird Lawrence um, it doesn't really matter what we want to go over is the basic of a 2D sonar what we use to mark fish the first thing you want to do, whether you have a Lawrence Hummingbird, is go into menu and do me a big favor, select the sonar option and go all the way down to fish ID and turn it off. Please do me a huge favor. Turn it off. It does not mark fish for you. It won't tell you what a fish is and what it's not a fish. Okay. Here's the perfect example. I have my 2D sonar set up and I have my color chart on the right side here. Blue being the weakest signal and yellow being the strongest signal. I'm marking what the sonar would think is a fish if I had fish ID on. These two marks would be marked as a fish. Now are they a fish? In, with my experience they're not a fish. Why? The signal is too low. It could be a water temperature, water density, it could be algae that's, that's floating, it could be a weed, it could be duck poo as far as I know. Turn fish ID off. Now I'm going to help you on auto mark fish, now to distinct what kind of fish they are and how to set up your unit properly. Second thing you want to do is go back into menu and go in that sonar selection. Go back into your menu, I'm sorry, and go back into your settings. And we will use user mode in advance. If I put it to normal, it restricts me. It's doing everything for me, and that's not what I want. I want to be able to mark fish. Now, the important part, that's what I get a lot of message about. Sebastian, what do I set my sensitivity, sensitivity, sensitivity to? Okay, excuse my Franglish here. Sensitivity will depend on the water temperature, the water density. So if it's colder, it's, it'll be more dense. If it's hotter, we want to have it around 12. Now you start from there. 12 is a good standpoint. If I'm in Cook's Bay, it will be at 7 or lower. And if I'm in, in Campenfeld Bay, it will be at 12 or higher. And this is the perfect example here. As we are here, we can see a school of bait fish and a perch going up and eating those bait fish. This is the perfect example. This is not staged or anything. It's not on demo mode. Right, Ducky? So, now as you noticed, the second important thing is we want to turn lower range away from auto. So right now it's set up to manual. If I'm go going to set it up, it's taking for forever, at automatic, it finds the bottom for me. Now this is great if you're navigating between five to 40 feet of water on and off trying to mark fish. Me, and if you want more, a clear of a, clear of a, of a picture and the full use of your, your, your sonar, you want to turn that thing on fishing always 60 feet of water or more in the summer. So I'm going to have it set at 60 feet. Now we're in Kempenfeld Bay. The, the deepest spot is 120 feet, 130 feet. I'm going to set it up at that. Even though we are in 50 feet of water, I can still mark fish clearly. And, uh, and see a, a, perfect, a perfect image. Now, if I would be in 10 feet of water, all I got to do is set it up to 10 feet. 
You're asking me why not leave it in automatic? If you leave it in automatics and you go in 10 feet of water, the image go really cluttered and you can't see any detail. Now let's focus on out of mark fish while the engine's on right now and we're gonna try to go locate that school of bait fish in that, those school of perch. Now you've noticed I'm getting some arcs here. They're not perfectly arcs. Now, these might be fish, but with my experience, these are not fish. These, this is just clutter in the water column. This, was, this is what a fish would look like. Sorry about the wind, it's very windy. So we have a decent fish on here and then a school of bait fish. Now notice that school of bait fish is on the color chart blue to orange, so it's not a strong signal. Now, is it a school of bait fish? Yes. Is it under the boat directly? No, because the signal wasn't really strong, so it could be 20 feet away from the boat on the left or right side, and that's when a lot of time on the water will give you the experience on, on telling you where exactly those fish are. So now you can notice I'm marking a fish. I, I shut down the engine. It's at the bottom here. It's more than likely a perch. She's investigating that school of bait fish and she's going back down. She's not disappearing under the ground. She's just, once she's, she's on bottom, she's pretty much invisible to the sonar. That means she's belly on bottom. You can tell at the beginning she was up maybe a feet and she went all the way belly on bottom. So they might be fish here. So how do I go about noticing those fish? I'm gonna play with my sensitivity. The stronger I'm gonna put it, the stronger of a signal I'm gonna put on bottom. The more noise I'm getting back from the unit. The lower I'm getting it, I'm eliminating that noise. It's water density. Um, you can also, if you're very advanced with your fish finder, you can notice thermocline. The water temperature and the water density, let's say in 100 feet of water, at 70 feet of water and 30 feet of water, there'll, there'll be a, uh, a different a difference in uh, the water density and that's uh, how a lot of angler bass fishermen will uh, use this to uh, know when the lake is about to turn over mean the water at the bottom is warmer than that at the top that that's a transition that will happen in the fall so I go again over that school of bait fish I can clearly tell it's bait fish and I can play with my setting and put it lower and I'll, I'll start seeing some more arcs seems to be that 11 is perfect there's a little hump of the bottom here 